I'm marrying you today. I'm happy not only because I'm marrying the girl, she's cute on the outside, but when I first saw you at the bus stop in Euro, but also because you are the most insanely beautiful, caring, God loving, thoughtful girl I have ever met. <laughs> See, like, stressed about it for like ages. Honestly, if you just write, See you soon, I'd be like, Bye. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say about Edmund. These are all your bad habits. <laughs> All his bad habits are good habits to me. They're always wonderful habits. us to grow in our love and in our service of each other. Opportunity comes, none other than Valentine's Day at high school. Oh yes. <laughs> Nothing says true love like a rose from your high school sweetheart. On this day, Edmund plucks up the courage, he buys the rose with the pocket money that his mum gave him, <laughs> and he walks over to Florence on Valentine's Day and hands her a rose. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> Their eyes lock, their gazes are fixed. Florence looks at the rose and looks at Edmund and says, is this a joke? <laughs> she laughs uncontrollably and walks off with her friends and the rest is history. <laughs> Look like. <laughs> I was extremely nervous. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm just nervous as a cat, but I think this is helpful. I think you're better than me. You're doing better. Hold it. <laughs> Careful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Awkward hug. Awkward hug. We are here today to celebrate Edmund and Florence, uh, who dated in high school, went in their own ways for a period of time, but in God's funny timing and planning, um, here they are today as husband and wife, which I'm super, super excited about. 